In this video we're going to work out the line integral underneath this surface along this path but um, but we're only moving from 0 to pi so uh, so we're only moving from 0 to pi so really we're only moving from here to here okay so from 0 to pi so what that means is um, on, on this 3D diagram it will look something like this uh, so so you would so the particle would move like this the particle would move along like this so what that means is the particle would move along like this on the XY plane uh, and then each step of the way you always jump to the surface always jump to the surface you always jump to the surface and so on so really we're working out the uh, the area underneath this paraboloid okay so um, the formula to work out the line integral is given by this uh, we always need to know the speed in order to find the speed we need to know the position vector so we've got to convert from re from polar form into um, I into Cartesian form so uh, so we've got to work out well hang on if if you're moving around like this if you're moving around like this as um, as theta or T increases um, the particle is moving around like this as the particle moves around you always know the uh, the height. You always know the x and the y value. So the uh, the x. Re remember t and uh, theta. We're, we're going to use the angle theta to represent time, and we're going to use time to represent theta. So this thing here, you can think of it as being theta, the angle, or t. So uh, so these two are pretty much the same. So as the particle is moving around, uh, this ang this angle here is theta. Well, x x is given by r the radius cos theta but uh, we don't want to use theta we want to use time t and then uh, this r well the r is given by by e to the power of t well anyway the uh, the x coordinate would be given by this the y coordinate would be given by this so as a particle is moving around we always know the x location and we always know the y location so um so once we're here once we're here uh we can jump to um the position vector the position vector is given by this so as the particle is moving around hang on as the um as the particle is moving around you always know the precise location of it you always have the position vector from the origin to the position of the particle as it moves around so so this is your position vector as it moves around uh, so this is your position vector as it moves around uh, remember t is from uh, 0 to uh, to pi so 0 to pi and uh, remember we are trying to work out the speed we need to work out the speed so once you've got your position vector differentiate it once that will then give you your your velocity vector so we've got to we've got to differentiate this that will then give us this um, differentiate this so you've got to use a product rule so differentiate the first blah 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 uh, differentiate it will then give you this and uh, tidy this up so you can factorize out the e to the power t so this thing here is this and you can factor out the e to the power t that will then give you this and well this whole thing here is this thing here uh, and then uh, so this is your position vector sorry this is your velocity vector you then need to know the speed well the speed is you using Pythagoras so you've got to take this whole thing square it take this whole thing here square it and then square root the whole thing that will then give you your speed so when you square this it would be e to the power 2t square this that's this squared here um, square this that will then give you this square this that will then give you this so now um, you can uh, you can simplify this. So take it out of the square root. Remember, from two t you're moving to t because you're square rooting it. And uh, and this thing here, multiply this out. That will then give us this thing. And uh, mo square this. That will then give us this thing here. And then um, minus uh, two sine t. A two sine t cos t 
well this is plus 2 sine t cos t so these two will cancel each other out uh, combining these two cos squared sine squared so that would be the number of 1 uh, and then over here you've got sine squared cos squared that would be the number 1 uh, so 1 plus 1 is 2 so uh, remember square root of 2 so so the our speed is given by this so our speed is given by that and then now we're ready to uh, plug everything into the uh, into the formula so our speed we can put this into the speed that will then give us that will then give us this and uh, we always know the x and y location so we've got to put this into the x and then when you square it it will then give you this thing here you you always know the x and y location well the y location is this put it into the y that will, and then square it that will then give us this thing here and remember t ranges from 0 to 2 pi so the line integral is given by by us trying to integrate this with respect to t so now it's just a matter of evaluating that integral so let's integrate it um, square root of 2 says so a constant so take it out and uh, and multiply this out so this times this that will then give us this and then this times this that will then give us this uh, factor out the uh, the e to the power of 3t that will then give us this thing here uh, cos squared sine squared that is the number one so this thing times number one is just this thing and then now that's easy to integrate so when you integrate it it gives you this and when you evaluate it it will then give you this so our final answer is this so the area underneath that surface in that spiral is given by um, by this okay